Hey everybody, this is Peyton Hilliard, drummer of Leland and co-founder of Drum Sample Shop. I will wait for you. I will wait. So today's topic is going to be why your drums don't sound as good as the records that you're listening to. And the simple solution to that problem is samples. So today I'll be showing you what samples are and how to enhance your drum tones with them. And then in part two, I'll be showing you how to load samples into your drum pad, route them to your triggers, and you know play through a couple of songs that I've recorded over the years and demonstrating how I use samples to enhance my sound. So be sure to click the link below, type in your email, and we'll send it straight to your inbox. Let's get started. What is a sample? Essentially, a sample you know, is just a pre-recorded drum or instrument. Most people have, you know, samples of electronic kits, but today we're mainly focusing on acoustic drum samples, like, you know, drums that are actually set up in a studio, played, processed, you know, engineered, mixed, all that, mastered, and then, you know, put into a wave file format, and then, you know, able to load into a drum pad or a sampler and in this instance. You know, one benefit of samples for me is I do a lot of fly dates. So a lot of the times with Leland, we don't have a bus or, you know, a van, a trailer, we, we just fly. You know, with that being said, we're, we're walking into situations where we don't know what the kit's gonna be like. You know, it could be a, a fantastic, you know, vintage Ludwig kit or an amazing Risen kit or, you know, an amazing WFL3 kit. But, you know, sometimes it's not that. Sometimes it's some beaten up, you know, old, you know, drum set that, has been left in there since the 70s and the heads are from the 70s still you know i'm sure a lot of people have you know experienced that before um so with that being said you walk into these situations you're like i have no idea what it's going to be like and that's where samples in my personal experience have actually helped me a ton because it no matter what kit that is presented i know that my samples will be solid and what i you know put into my drum pad thus giving me the sound that I'm looking for. And I'll dive into more of that and we'll show that of like how different kits and stuff. But you know, that's, that's the beauty of it is, is like you, if you want consistency, samples is the way to go. And then you can also even, the beauty of it is the, these triggers that are on the kit, you can actually even use them, some people use them as gates, you know, for uh, front of house where, you know, say your drums are good, like these drums, these drums sound amazing, but you know, the cymbals are too loud and or you know the the ambient noise is picking up through the drum mics, and they want to put a gate on it. But instead of putting it through the mic, they put it through the, the actual trigger. It's a fairly known technique. Not many people use it, but it's pretty cool. So just like that's the beauty of samples is there's so many different variables to it, and especially in this day and age where church online concerts even you know, they're all online now. They're all live streamed in a way. You know you're watching it on your phone rather than being in person. With that, there is so many different variables of complications. You know, it's like, well, our live stream setup isn't that great. Like we don't have the proper recording equipment, or you know, we're filming it on our phones. I know, I know a lot of churches that still live stream from an iPhone, which is amazing. I love it. People are doing that. But with that, like, it, it, there's problems. It's sound quality. You know, you know, bad equipment. Like putting a bad mic on a drum through an amazing sound system is still going to sound bad. So imagine what that does to a phone or you know, watching it from a tablet. It's just going to sound even worse. And it seems like we're moving into that now more than ever. Is is live stream? You know experiences of music and concerts and worship. So that's where I think, you know, samples really, you know, just come in and they, they help consistency, regardless of, uh, you know, equipment that's available to you at your, you know, your venue, your church, your home studio. I tour heavily and I know we go to churches and we, I'm thrown into a, a, a cage or a fishbowl, you know, I call them fishbowls. They, you know, those glass, don't get, I'm not hating on the fishbowl, I love the fishbowl. It's kind of cozy in there, you, know, you have your own little fan and like you're closed off of the world, it's kind of nice. But like, with that being said, me personally, I have a studio in my house and I, I made sure to make it the, you know, best treated room as possible, even for a house. With that, reflections are so predominant in, especially uh, overhead mics, you know, drum, it, it bounces back. So when you're playing drums in a fishbowl and it's bouncing off of plastic, you know, it's, it's gonna sound like plastic. So I think that's where, you know, regardless of that, like the, the reflections and sounds, like if you want a saving grace or save the day type of moment, that's where samples would come in. It's like no matter what is the mic is picking up, I know that at least the samples are gonna enhance 
or make that sound better in a way. All right, so let's dive into the samples that we're using today. These samples are actually from my company, Drum Sample Shop. You can visit us at drumsampleshop.com, and this is our US-UK pack. Let's dive in. Here's a kick, another kick, a mahogany low tune snare, a little bit higher of a tuned mahogany snare, a 6.5 aluminum snare, Love that one. That one's a favorite. I think this is another snare. Yeah, that's awesome. Here's some toms. Yeah, so that's straight out of the SPDS X. The crazy thing about those samples is it is actually this kit that was sampled. Like I said, you know, drum samples are just acoustic drums that are played, mixed process, produce, all that. It's real instruments just put into waveforms. This is my WFL3 kit. Love this kit. It's amazing. That snare that I said I like the most is actually this snare. It is the 6.5 by 14 aluminum uh, 1909 snare. Amazing. This is my go-to for the road. So now that you heard those samples, let's actually hear what the drums sound like in this room. So here's the snare. Rack tom. Floor tom. And kick drum. Sounds great, like it is. Let's add the sample versions of this kit onto this kit. And see what I mean? How taking an acoustic drum, adding acoustic samples, makes it that hybrid, attacky, you know, massive, punchy sound. And it just sounds incredible. All right, here's the snare with the sample. Tom. Floor Tom. Kick drum. I mean, that sounds incredible. That's the beauty of it, is it's so simple. You know, it's a couple triggers, a couple lines, and boom, we're in a room. We're in a almost perfectly square room, which in theory is not supposed to sound good, but that's what samples do. They take you know, drums that already sound good and they just enhance it to make it a hybrid, amazing, you know, like just bump it up and yeah, so there's that. Okay, so let's demonstrate a groove with 5050 samples and the WFL3 kit. And boom, just like that, a vintage kit. We've got a 60s Ludwig kick drum and a 70s pair of Ludwig toms paired with a 60s, 70s, we don't really know, uh, Acrolyte. It's a great sound and snare, um, that's all we know. We're gonna demonstrate same samples on this kit and uh, show you just what you know that sounds like. Actually, let's do it without the samples, let's see what they sound like before, you know. There's the snare. Good. Let's growl to it. Kick drum. You see we took off the front head to accommodate for the, the 60s tone. Now let's do the samples, let's dial back up. So, snare. Track. Beefy. Floor. And kick. All right, so let's demonstrate a groove with the samples and the kit. You know, behind every drummer, 
There's always those character building kits, and I think those are actually more important than skill and talent. It's just the gear that you got, you know, lying around. We found this one in the garage. This is pretty solid. <laughs> this was the deal of the year. I mean, look, it's got heads on it. A little used like I like them. The bird poop was actually free. Yep. So we are working with a Ludwig Accent CS made in China. This is what this Chinese Ludwig sounds like. Floor. Growl. Kick. All right, let's do it with the samples. Rack time. Floor. Kick. All right, so let's go through a groove with the Chinese Ludwigs and the samples. Okay, so we have another kit here. You know, that's the beauty about samples that it blends with all types of different kits. This one in particular is a custom kit. Uh, I'm not sure on the year, uh, what, what year is this? I don't know, it's, it's fresh though. Cool, yeah, sorry, it's so many kits, we forget, you know, what years they all are. This one, you know, in particular, I, I really like the tone of it. It's 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 really like, um, it's really full, you know, like, it, it almost like it's like stuffed, you know, it's like stuff, like, tone, I don't know, it's just crazy, like, uh, you know, I think it's the bearing edge, it's like, you know, most drums are rounded over, but this one has a sharp, sheer edge, and I think that just really, like, adds to the character of the tone. So let's hear this uh, snare without the samples, and here we go. Really supreme type of tone. Uh, rack Tom? Uh, hold on one second, actually. Sorry, guys. Oh, just gotta fix that overtone real quick. Gotta love moon gels. That's it, that's it. Uh, floor Tom? Oh. Like, it's a mix between growl and that like dip tone. It's just like, oh, it's just right there. It's what I want to hear. Uh, kick drum. This one, um, it's good. Like it's, it's a little boxy, but it, it gets the job done. You hear, you really hear the attack on it. Amazing. All right, well, let's bring in the samples a little bit. Let's see what that sounds like. Awesome. All right, let's do a groove with 50-50 blends of samples and real drums. Awesome.
So now that we know what a sample is and how it can be applied to so many different kids to enhance them, let's go into the behind the scenes of like how to buy samples, how to put them in your drum pad and then route them to all your triggers. Also, I'll be going into some song demonstrations of stuff that I've recorded over the years with samples on my own kit and how they sound and how they blend with the music that I'm playing. So click the link below, type in your email and we'll send you part two. Let's get started.